Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I've got something really exciting in the post. I've been meaning to get a new microphone ever since my trusty SM58 went missing at a rehearsal space. So I looked into getting something a little bit different and all the reviews tend to say that this was the, the best of the kind of mostly budget range. Let's get into it and see what we got. It is this NT1 Signature Series in black by road. Studio condenser microphone with some extras. We have a XLR cable included, 10 year warranty, phantom power and a shock mount and detachable pop filter so this should hopefully um, be everything I need it to be. Let's have a bit of a look round the box. Rode microphones there on the side. Just a repeat on that side of what's included and then let's take a closer look. It says the Rode NT1 is a large diaphragm condenser microphone suitable for a wide range of studio applications delivering warm round bass, a detailed mid range and smooth high frequencies reminiscent of the world's most famous mics coupled with exceptionally low noise. The NT1 is the definition of a workhorse studio microphone, a modern classic. So that's definitely what I need. Okay, so firstly we've got this nice pouch that I'll be carrying it around in. Quite obvious what it is, so hopefully I won't be uh, losing it at any more band practices or uh, different sessions. And then inside, I quite like how they've done this. They've put each of the different segments into different boxes, which is a nice idea. Um, we have the shock mount with pop filter and then two other boxes. So let's have a look inside. Okay, so there's the pop filter. Feels like good quality actually. So there's the pop filter. There's the shock mounts. This is something I've been missing for a long time actually for my other microphones. So this should help for, for all my mics actually. Again, good sturdy quality here. Feels nice. In this box is the XLR cable. With a quick start guide and uh, I love Rode, nice. Hopefully I will once I've used this microphone. And then I believe this is the mic itself. Shall I leave that till last? Yeah, I'll leave that till last. And then this feels empty. Is this just to bolster the box up a little bit? Yep, nothing in that one. And various warranty cards. We've got a quick, yeah, quick start guide there as well, which should be useful. And uh, safety advice in there as well. So onto the main event. The microphone itself. Nice. Oh yeah, it's got some heft to it. It's uh, nice and weighty, which is usually a good sign. Uh, really nice look to it as well. 
all metal. There's no plastic involved here, I don't think. It doesn't feel like it. Um, yeah, loving the look of it so far. Made in Australia. Um, so yeah, let's see what we've got all together in the box. There we are. This is what's included in the pack. We've got the microphone itself, something to carry it in, the uh, pop shield, shock mount, XLR, nice sticker, <laughs> uh, quick start guide, bit of silicon to keep it all dry. So yeah, a nice set. Um, let's get it set up, shall we, and put it through its paces. Right, so I'm going to have a go at some A-B testing. What you can hear right now is me talking directly into the iPhone. In a couple of seconds, I'm going to clap my hands and then you'll be hearing the audio directly from the, the NT1. So let's try out a little bit of a script. Please consider liking and subscribing to Tim Lee Songs for more great videos in the future. Please consider liking, subscribing to Tim Lee Songs for more great videos in the future. Okay, now I'm back to talking directly into the iPhone. I'll try out a little bit of singing. I apologise now, but I'll have a go at singing into my iPhone and then directly into the NT1. So first of all, this is through the camera. In an ocean of lies, you rise up like mercury. You could never decide. And now through the NT1. In an ocean of lies, you rise up like mercury. You could never decide. Okay, next up, I'm going to try it on a live instrument. So this is the sound of my acoustic guitar straight through the camera. and then directly through the NT1. So overall, what are my thoughts about the NT1? Well, I'm pretty impressed, I would say, for a first time using it. It's got good sturdy build quality. Um, it's got good dynamic range, very little noise. I didn't even realize it was on at one point and the, uh, it was so quiet. And uh, yeah, for a sort of entry level budget microphone, I would say for, I got it for about 130 pounds off Amazon. And considering all the extras you're getting, like the XLR lead, the shock mount, the uh, pop shield, etc., I'd say I'd say it's very good value for for money. And I'm looking forward to using it a lot more in the future. So that's it for now. If you enjoy this kind of video, then like I said before, please consider liking, subscribing, or maybe even sharing this video with a friend. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and take care.